Hello everyone, welcome back to this battery test of iOS 12. So in this video I will be running a full discharge of iOS 11.4.1 and on the same devices a full discharge on iOS 12 using Geekbench 4's battery test. So as you can see on all these devices the display brightness is at around 30%. And let's go into the accessibility menu and just check that auto brightness for all devices has been set to off. And there you have it, auto brightness off on all devices so let's get these devices ready and run the test and just to confirm in Geekbench 4 you will see that all devices are in iOS 11.4.1 so all devices are at 100% charge uh, we will run a full discharge, it will take several hours, I will speed up the video of course. But let's get ready to start by turning off the power. Turning off power now. So there you have it, the result of iOS 11.4.1 battery test on Geekbench 4. 
If you look at the scores on these uh, devices and compare it to the iOS 11.4 video, you will see that the scores are somewhat lower than 11.4. And here you have the details of the runtime of each device. And as you can see again, lower than what we were seeing on 11.4. But hey, a lot of people has complained of 11.4.1, so hopefully this has been fixed in iOS 11.12. So let's start testing that now. Well, I just show you that the display brightness uh, level is the same as before and that auto brightness is still off. So let me just explain how I updated these devices. So during Thursday, I ran the uh, iOS 11.4.1 battery test on them and then charged them to 100%. While they were charging, I updated them using iTunes to iOS 12. And then they sat overnight uh, with iOS 12 on them, idling and having iOS 12 upgrade do its thing, whatever it's doing. And then started this test uh, in the morning on Friday. So uh, they've been sitting for a while and I think they're ready now to, uh, to start. So let's just uh, get these devices uh, back into Geekbench and we will run the battery test once more now on iOS 12 and then compare the scores afterwards. So all devices are now almost ready to go. Let's uh, just uh, get them started by cutting the power. So cutting the power right now. So while this is running, uh, please uh, look at that button in the right corner of the video. It says subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, please click it. It means a lot. Thanks.
So there you have them, the iOS 12 Geekbench 4 results after completely draining the batteries. So comparing the scores to iOS 11.4.1, for sure you will get less battery life with iOS 12. In this non-scientific test I just did, 16 minutes less on the 5S, 24 minutes less on the 6, 12 minutes less on the 6S, and finally 18 minutes less on the iPhone 7. So one of the reasons for this poor performance in battery life in iOS 12 could be the new screen time feature that Apple has introduced in iOS 12. This could of course also just be the poor performance of iOS 11.4.1 that has made it into iOS 12. But hopefully Apple is working on iOS 12.1, we'll see a beta soon, and when that final release arrives hopefully they will have fixed this battery issue. So thank you very much for watching this video and as always remember that subscribers of this channel has better battery life and faster iPhones than non-subscribers. So take care. Thanks.